for this problem, a man raises a 10 kg choice of 10 parameters by pulling on a rope, and they are tasked to determine the tension of the rope and the reaction at A. Now, this choice is acted upon by three forces. There is its weight acting upon the centroid, W, the force, T, exerted by the rope, and the reaction, R. Therefore, it is a three force body system, and we can compute the forces by using the force triangle. Now, first, we must note that W is equal to mass times the gravitational acceleration. This is equal to 10 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared, which is equal to 98.1 newtons. Now, we got the choice is a three force body. The forces acting on it must be concurrent. Let's call it point C. Therefore, the reaction R must pass through the point of intersection C of the lines of action of the weight W and the tension force T, shown in the free body diagram. Now we can use this fact to determine the angle alpha or theta that R forms with the horizontal. Now to do this, to solve for theta, we must do some geometrical analysis. To begin our analysis, let us write down the free body diagram of the joints. Here we will be weight W is acting on the center of the member. We have tension T and force R with a missing angle of theta. After that, we let point C be where the concurrent forces intersect. Now if we want to find the angle theta, uh, we must first solve for this length here. That is basically the midpoint of the x point of the length AB. So to do so, we must first solve the vertical distance. Let's call this BF. That is equal to 4 multiplied by sine 45 degrees, which is equal to Now knowing that this is a 45-45-90 right triangle because it has angle of 45 this one here has also angle of 45 degrees therefore it is an isosceles triangle which means that this side here must also be equal to 2.83 and because this is the midpoint of the x component of the right triangle um, we can solve for, let's say, um, AF that is equal to 2.83 divided by 2, which is equal to 1.415. Now to solve for this length here, CF, let's construct another right triangle. Let's call this BDC. Now knowing that this net here is 1.45, this must also be equal to 1.415. If you project it upwards, this net here must also be equal to 1.415. Knowing that this angle right here is equal to 45 degrees, and this angle here is equal to 25. Therefore, the wait. this angle here is 45, and this angle here is 25 degrees. Therefore, this missing angle here must be equal to 90 degrees minus 25 minus 45 degrees. That is equal to 20. So this angle here is equal to 20 degrees. And we can solve for this length by using the tangent function. So tangent 20 degrees is equal to opposite DC over JSON 1.415. Therefore DC is equal to 
zero point five one five. Now that we have the length for BF, that is 2.83, and DC is 0 0.515, we can solve for CF, which is equal to 2.83 minus 0 0.515. That is equal to 2.315. And we can also solve for angle theta by using the tangent function. It's opposite over adjacent. Therefore, theta is equal to arctan of 2.315 divided by 1.415, which is equal to 58.57 degrees. In order to have the angle for the reaction R, we cannot proceed directly. Uh, we cannot proceed on making our force triangle since we know all the directions of the forces acting on the trace. So, to do so, um, let's erase this. Given that this is the weight W with the value of 98.1 newtons, as solved earlier. And we have tension D. And reaction A with an angle of 58.57 degrees. So to begin making our first angle, we wrote down W going downwards, that is 98.1 gradients. Connecting head to tail, um, we can connect tension D. There's an angle of, this is 45, therefore this is 90 minus 25 minus 45 equal to 20 degrees. So this angle here is equal to 20 degrees. And this is a right angle. And what is left is for the reaction R with an angle of Theta. Now, given that this angle here must also be equal to 20 degrees by the alternate inter angle theorem, therefore this remaining angle must be equal to 58 minus 57 degrees. In other words, this angle right here must be equal to 38.57 degrees. This is our tension T. And for the remaining angle, knowing that in a triangle, the total angle must sum up to 180 degrees. Therefore, um, we let this angle equal to x. 180 degrees must equal to x plus 38.57 degrees plus 20 degrees plus 90. Here, x is equal to 31.43 degrees. Now we have all the angles. We can now apply the law of sine to solve for the values of r and t. So let's erase this. So applying the law of sine, that is the ratio of the opposite side to its angle, sine of 90 degrees plus 20. It was equal to the other force T over the opposite angle that is equal to X 31.43 degrees, and which is also equal to 
the way and take it 0.1 newtons over its opposite angle that is equal to 38.57. Sign. Now we can solve for R. R here is equal to cross multiply get 98.1 sine of 110 degrees over sine of 38.57 degrees. And to solve for T, we cross multiply uh, sine 31.43 with 98.1 over sine 38.57. So for R, this is 98.1 sine 110 degrees divided by sine of 38.57, which is equal to 147.86. And for T, that is equal to 98.1 sine of 31.43 degrees divided by sine of 38. 0.57 which is equal to 82.05 newtons so let's check if this is in our choices r is equal to 147.86 that is a and for tension that is equal to 82.05 which is letter c